Thanks, Leslie and Corla. Um, the aviation industry has been one of the hardest hit, and that was unavoidable. However, staff and unions have been warning that without pro a proper plan and support, jobs would be lost. The closure of Stobart Air brings this reality home. It also highlights the vulnerability of our airports. Over the past year, Cork, Shannon and regional airports have been hit with losses. Job losses in airports are being disproportionately felt by precarious workers like cabin crew, a disproportionately female workforce. We saw the closure of the cabin crew base in Shannon, and now we know there's a temporary layoff of staff in Cork um, that has been announced. To add insult to injury, they're also looking at a 20% pay cut and the removal of sick pay. Small employers in West Cork and everywhere are going above and beyond to retain their staff with the employment wage subsidy scheme. Why isn't an international airline doing the same? Minister, how are you going to respond to ensure the protection of these uh, jobs, particularly the more precarious ones like cabin crew? Minister, there will be a temporary layoff of cabin crew in Cork due to runway works, um, but they've also been warned that their employment depends on operational uh, capability and business need. Similar letters were sent to Shannon cabin crew before their permanent closure. The employment wage subsidy scheme is much more appropriate than pushing people onto social welfare. Um, I think it's worth noting that employees in the same sector, like pilots and engineers, are not being temporarily laid off. It's just those in the more low-pay categories. Um, so I'm wondering how is the government going to address this specific issue? Where is the plan and supports for the employees in a sector that was bound to be disproportionately affected by the pandemic? Thank you, deputies. Um, uh, just in relation to D Deputy uh, Kern's um, issues there around us with employees, and I also chair um, the LEAF group. It's the Labour um, Employer Economic Forum, so it's a subgroup of of that where there is representatives from um, employers and employees on that, looking at the sector and the further needs within the aviation sector. Um, also, as part of the National Economic Plan, there are references there to additional supports for the aviation sector if required. So all of this is under consideration. I know that the, the stresses um, and the concerns uh, of employees within the sector, but what I can say is that government have acted very fast. We are watching the situation uh, and particularly what we wanted to do straight away when COVID um, um, struck this, our, our struck um, Ireland and, and, and the globe was to protect our airports and our infrastructure to make sure that they're in a position to be able to rebound uh, through this. Um, in relation to the um, PSO and the ex uh, expediting that process,